Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding topics. The first one is gonna be about Hassan Mustafa. So, I noticed a lot of comments, a lot of hate towards this guy, especially recently, after he failed a couple of times badly. First, at a Toronto Pro three weeks ago, and just this weekend again at Chicago Pro. He simply did not bring conditioning. He came in with, like, off-season look, pretty much. So here's a photo of his front lat spread in which you can't see any separation anywhere. Just a big blob of muscle and water and fat. And a lot of people in the comments are saying that he should retire. So I wanted to give you guys my opinion, and there are other people who are saying that we shouldn't be so hard towards Hassan, we should support him, because it's only the matter of time before he nails it. Personally, the way I see it is, you know, he's a professional athlete, and we are the fans. And we are gonna look at this guy very carefully, because he won multiple pro shows, he is an Olympian, and there is going to be a certain pressure, a certain expectation of him. So when he's competing, we are expecting from him just to be ready for the stage. It doesn't matter if he wins or doesn't win, if he places second or third, but like when he shows up looking like this, when he is not presentable, when he is simply put not ready for the stage and he places eight at a show like this where he would win usually if he was in shape, he needs to be criticized, he's going to be criticized, you can't stop people from saying what they really think, and that's just it. Now, my opinion on whether he should retire or not is, no, no, I don't think he should retire. But should he continue competing, can he really win another show this, this year, this season? I don't know about that. So far, Hassan was kinda ignoring all the negative comments, but finally he made a post about this. And finally he realizes that he's not really delivering what he's supposed to be delivering. So he says, I'm sorry for not delivering up to my potential, I'm very disappointed in my performance, but there are a few aspects out of my control that affected the final look, but these are not excuses, I promise you, I will keep fighting and be better next time. My coach, Dorian Hamilton, did everything he can to be better and we did improve, just not enough to win, and that will be fixed for the next show. Hmm. So there were three weeks between the Toronto Pro and Chicago Pro. And how much did he improve? Not significantly. Barely, it's barely even noticeable. Yeah, sure, he was a little bit drier, but this still wasn't good conditioning, not even close. And he says, I wasn't able to win. You weren't even able to be top three or top six. He placed eight. And the guy won, I think 2022, he won two shows in a row. That's how good Hassan can be. But this year, he seems to be failing badly. Now, I would like to hear his coach, Dorian Hamilton, actually explain something about this, because this is kind of ruining his reputation as a coach. We don't know if it is Hassan and his issues, or he's simply following Dorian's advices blindly. We don't know that as of yet. Now, in this post, before the Toronto Pro, you can see uh, Hassan posing and Dorian calling the shots, and here Hassan said, things are looking amazing right now, as I'm getting rid of the water one day at a time. Anyone who knows me knows how much water my body holds. Now, I wonder whether this was his thinking, or did Dorian tell him this? Did Dorian even confirm this? Dorian should have told him, you're not ready for the stage, let's skip this show, let's prep for more, for like another, I don't know, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10 weeks even, maybe? That's what I would tell him if I was coaching him, I'm sure anybody would tell him that, maybe Dorian did tell him that, but he didn't listen, we have no idea as of right now, so I wish Dorian will explain a couple of things to us, but... I am 100% sure that Dorian knew what's gonna happen on that stage, how Hassan is looking, that there isn't just a lot of water, that there is a lot of fat right there, and he needs to trim it off with dieting for longer, so I'm pretty sure it was just Hassan who was delusional here, thinking that he was looking amazing here, and that it's just body water that he's holding, so basically, I wasn't even sure if Hassan was aware of this problem, 
If he was, then why did he even show up at a show like this? Or the way he showed up at Chicago Pro also wasn't presentable, wasn't good enough, not even close to good enough for an Olympian, for a guy who won multiple pro shows. However, he still believes that he's going to win the next show he does, which show is next for him, which show could be next for him. Dubai Pro, he can't win this one, <laughs> let's not even joke ourselves. Next up is Texas Pro, can he beat Andrew Jack <laughs> in, three, in two weeks, actually, two and a half weeks? Can he get his conditioning to that level to beat somebody who is top five at the Mr. Olympia? Absolutely not even a slight chance. So, for how long will he keep prepping? For another four, five, six weeks? Well, realistically, that's how much he needs, how long he needs to get in shape, but I don't know if he's gonna do it. I mean, I think he started this prep on time. It's not that he started the prep for Toronto two weeks out and he just showed up looking like that. No, no, no. Something was going badly. I don't know. He says that there are some things that are affecting this, so I don't know if it is health issues or something else, it could be health issues, so in that case, my opinion is, he doesn't need to retire, because I don't see anything wrong with his physique, like, all the muscle is there, and it's looking good, it's just body fat that he needs to lose in water, but if it is a health issue that is causing this uh, water retention and preventing him from being able to push for conditioning, then sure, maybe he should retire, but I don't think that's what's happening, and also, like, there is a little bit of a hernia, down there in the in the lower belly, but it's not a big issue, it's very small, so as long as it doesn't get bigger, that's not an issue, and even if it does get bigger, it's fixable via surgery, sometimes, very often, those surgeries don't go the best way possible for the athletes, but it's not really an issue right now, and people are also saying that there is some separation going on within his chest, like the way it happened to Ian Valier, I don't see that, maybe slightly, but it's not a problem, so I don't think Hassan should end his career, but I do think he should stop his season right now, and maybe compete next year, you know, take some real time and just really focus on bringing the conditioning, maybe go back with AJ Sims, he's the only guy that really brought him in good condition, so I think that's all he needs to do, he doesn't need to retire, but something is off, something is going on with Hassan, he needs to fix that issue and potentially compete uh, next year. Alright, the next thing is very, very interesting, it's uh, Mo Fuda basically announcing that he's doing another show, which show? Well, it's open for speculation. If you guys don't like speculation, you can just stop this video and go watch some other informative channel where you can only hear the facts once or twice a week. If that's what you want, go over there. If you want to hear my thoughts, my speculation, stay here and watch this video. So basically, Mo Fura posted this photo. It's him just winning the show, winning Chicago Pro. And he says, we delivered and won the Chicago Pro show, earning my ticket to the Olympia. Mission accomplished? Not yet. The next goal is personal, and we keep pushing until the next stop. So, so, Mohamed Fuda is not finished for this season, even though he got his Mr. Olympic qualification, he's not satisfied, he's gonna do another show. For those of you who are thinking that he's talking about the Mr. Olympia, no, here's a story that he posted as well, he says, mission isn't done yet, next stop is question mark, question mark, question mark, so he doesn't want to announce it, yet he's letting us speculate, that's what he wants and that's what he's gonna get, so which show could it be? He says it's personal, and that can give us some kind of an idea, so what show could be personal for Mofura? Well, last year he did Romania Pro, Romania Pro is only after the Mr. Olympia. A couple of years ago, he did Japan Pro. That's also after the Mr. Olympia. Which show could it be? Well, Dubai Pro is the next weekend. And last year, at Romania Pro, he was beaten by Behru Stabani and Nathan Diasha. Both of these guys are doing the Dubai Pro, and they are potentially the favorites to win this show. And they beat him last year, so that could be it. 
Maybe he wants a personal revenge against these guys. I wish that was the reason. We need more rivalry like this. It would be awesome. I love to see it. I love to see this kind of rivalry when somebody wants to prove something personal. If he didn't take that loss uh, easily last year and now he thinks he's good enough to beat these guys and he actually goes there and beats them and proves that he's better than them, that would be, that would be a huge story. Another thing, the obvious thing, is that he wants to do the Dubai Pro because it's at his home turf, basically. I mean, he's a Middle Easterner, Dubai is in Middle East, so he's gonna probably have a lot, a lot of his fans over there. So that could also mean it. But, but, he also posted this story today, and he tags this gym, which is apparently in the US, in Chicago, so he's uh, still over there. So, is he staying in the US, or maybe his flight is like today or tomorrow? I don't know, but it's definitely not ideal to travel so late when the flight is so long with jet lag and everything, but maybe he's still gonna do it, or maybe he's gonna stay in the US and do the Texas Pro, which is the next show after the Dubai Pro, two weeks after the Dubai Pro, but what would be personal about Texas Pro? I don't think he has anything personal with Andrew Jack, who is the favorite to win that show, I think it's most likely gonna be Dubai Pro. Again, we don't know yet, it's just speculation. If you don't like it, move away from this channel, but this is what we got as of right now. I do believe it's gonna be Dubai Pro, but can Mufuda win this show? Or where can he place? Well, we got a new high-quality video of Chicago Pro by Gilco Production. The guy is doing a phenomenal job covering these shows with super high-quality cameras. So let's take a look at it. And I think after watching this video, we can all conclude that he, Muhammad Fura, definitely deserved this show. Uh, Vlad Sukhruchko was not robbed. Uh, Vlad was also in crazy conditioning, but his structure is simply not as good as Mofura's. Maybe his back was also better, he was more, more conditioned in the glutes and the back itself and the hamstrings, but just the shape of Mofura is phenomenal, it's crazy. A little bit narrow in the shoulders, but he has a ton of muscle, everything is just 3D. Back is not phenomenal, however, I think he has a little scoliosis action going on here. His back is sort of tilted to one side a little bit more, but it's not a weak back, it's a little bit narrow in the shoulders, but, you know, it's not horrible back. It's not great, though, either. So, you know, against Bechru Stabani, Nathan Diasha, William Bonek, Nexilla, I don't see him winning that show. But placing inside of that top 4, top 5, sure, sure, if he nails the conditioning even a little bit more, like if his hamstrings are showing a little bit better, glutes as well, back gets drier, then he can definitely be pretty dangerous. But from the front and from the side as well, he is looking phenomenal. He's definitely a, a great potential. Maybe this year I don't see him like winning those huge shows like Dubai Pro, but you know, in a couple of years, anything is possible, really. This guy has so much potential. Narrow shoulders like Phil Heath and a little bit weaker back, but he's basically just starting. I mean, this is this is his first pro win. There is a bright future ahead of this guy. I think he's like maybe 30, 31 right now. I don't think he's much older than that. So, you know, I think in future this guy is going to be a force. I mean, even right now he is. He won this show. He's going to the Mr. Olympia. But as far as winning the Dubai Pro, I don't see it. And for the end of this video, we got a little bit of something from our Mr. Olympia, Derek Lansford. Unfortunately, he's not really showing a lot of his physique lately, and he probably won't show much until he's very close to the show. But we can see a lot of clips of him training his crazy looking back. And we can also see in this video that his conditioning is definitely getting better. He's 12 weeks out. That's, that's close. That's pretty close to the show, guys. Mr. Olympia is happening in 12 weeks. How crazy is that? And this back, Derek's back, I don't think it can get any better than it was last year and this year. It's just as freaky as last year. Overall, from Derek, I don't see any big improvements this year, but he's probably gonna be 100% down. Can that be enough with the rate the other guys are progressing at, like Samson Daura, like Hari Chopin as well, like Andrew Jack and so on? I don't know. Nick Walker is in the mix, Nick Zilla might be a big surprise. So, I mean, right now, even though he is the defending champ, I wouldn't bet on Derek. But if you guys think otherwise, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best. And bye-bye.